Hello, welcome. Take a moment and read this problem right here. Try it out and then press play and we'll solve it together. Okay, so they say which binomial is a factor of this thing right here? This is a polynomial. And these are all different binomials down here. They're two termed polynomials. And what we're trying to do is figure out which of them divide evenly into this polynomial. And you could try through long division, divide them and see what happens. You're looking for one that is a factor, so that means the remainder is zero. Remember that if something is a factor or something else, it divides evenly into it with a remainder of zero. And you can do that. You can divide them one by one. That takes a little, long, a little bit of time. What you might do instead is use the remainder theorem. The remainder theorem says that if you have a binomial that looks like this, x minus c, and c could be positive or, or negative. So in this case right here, you have x minus 2. So in this case, c is 2. And here we have plus 2, so it's really x minus negative 2. So c is negative 2. And then over here, x minus 4, so c is 4. And over here, c is negative 4. I'm just identifying what c would be if we're looking at a binomial in this form. Well, the remainder theorem says that if you're dividing specifically by a linear binomial, so there's no powers, excuse me, there's no powers, the coefficient of x is 1, and you're just subtracting some positive or negative number, then the remainder, say, I'll write this down, and the remainder is equal to p of c. Well, what am I talking about? Well, in our case, p of x is our, our dividend, and it's our polynomial, in this case, x to the fourth minus 4x squared minus 4x plus 8. This is our polynomial. And the remainder when dividing by x minus c is just equal to p of c. So we're going to plug c in to this polynomial and see what the output is. That's the remainder. And we are looking for an output of 0. So let's go through these one at a time and watch how quick this is. So first we'll start with x minus 2. So c is 2. We plug in 2. And what do we get? Well, it's 2 to the 4th minus 4 times 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 8. And that's going to get 16 minus 4 times 4, which is 16, that's 0, minus 8 plus 8, and that is 0. We got on the first shot. This is it. Let's just test another one so you can see how the other ones will not give a remainder of 0, and they're not factors of this polynomial. So here we plug in negative 2. Let's see what happens. We get negative 2 to the 4th minus 4 times negative 2 squared minus 4 times negative 2. Just plugging in the c value for these x's right here, plus 8. Well, in that case, again, we get negative 2 to the 4th is a positive 16 minus 4 times 4, so 16. That's our first 0. Then we get minus 4 times negative 2. That's plus 8. And then plus 8 again. That gets us 0 plus 16. So that's, that's essentially the remainder if we were to divide this polynomial by x plus 2. And you could try each of these 2, 3, and 4. You'll see the remainder is not 0. And that is essentially what the factor theorem says, is that if the remainder is 0, then it is a factor. So if you want to look this up further, you've got the remainder theorem. And the other thing happening that's working kind of in the background here, connected to the remainder theorem, is called the factor theorem. And that just says if your remainder is 0, then the thing you're dividing by is a factor. That's based on the remainder theorem because you have to plug in P of C. So if P of C equals 0, this happens if and only if. I don't want to use two ifs there. It says um, <laughs> P and C equals 0 if and only if. There's two f's there, if and only if. Um, X minus C is a factor of P, the polynomial. So if you plug in C, essentially, and you're dividing by X minus C, and the output is 0, that's the remainder, 
that means it's a factor of that polynomial. That's what we're, we're doing here. All right, hope that helped.